in, in Google Classroom later. Okay, so uh, what we have here is an activity we're starting today and you will be finishing it tomorrow. You're gonna start off with this caterpillar and you're going to want to shrink it down and hit calibrate. This is showing that screens come in many different sizes. For instance, some of you are on Chromebooks, some on tablets, some might be on other kinds of computers. Um, I'm looking at a really big monitor, so my screen is much bigger than a Chromebook screen. This makes it so that we can calibrate and have an understanding of the size of this caterpillar. The next thing you're going to do is be able to scroll through all of these different objects down here. Now, this was kind of confusing when I did this activity myself as a student, <clears throat> because we're told here that this caterpillar is four centimeters. And this puppy is four times as large as what I first read. Well, that doesn't mean that it's 16 centimeters because four times four is 16. It means the actual object, a real life puppy is four times as big as this picture. So we need to be careful as we're working with this because we're getting big things to fit onto a screen. Like this person looks like they're about the same height as that puppy. But the, we know people are a lot bigger than most dogs. That's a five story building. This is the world's largest tree. And then a really tall building and they're all fitting looking about the same size on our screen. So you're going to type in here what you notice and what you wonder. On the next screen, you'll still be able to scroll through these things. Here's the caterpillar. Its actual height is four centimeters in real life. We're going to guess here about how big we think the puppy is. And like I said, when I first did this, I typed in 16 because I saw four times four. And when I typed in 16, it measured him for me and told me I was wrong. It was way too short. Well, then I started using this graph. If this is one, two, three, four to get to 16, five, six. So this is now six times four. And I tried 24. That's closer. I think maybe he's a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go 26. And then I get a green check mark. So there's a little bit of guessing and checking as you're going through these activities. You can scroll through here. And as I scroll, it's going to open up the different parts of this table. And I'm going to be trying to fill in the blanks for the ones that are missing. And just get through these activities. Again, we're not going to finish it today, but you will be finishing tomorrow. Um, and hopefully that clarifies how we're going to work through this activity.